the file is approved, but unless and until the citizen or architect makes a payment, they cannot generate a permit or that's a flow. Now I'm coming back to the citizen URL. Now I am in, I think I'm in stakeholders architects login. Seeing the my application. As you can see, it says pending for sanction fee payment application number 88. So if I click on make payment, what happens is it will go to a payment page where I can see what is it. I need to pay rupees 500. On pay successful payment of rupees 500, I would be able to download the permit order. With that, the flow for building permit is over. So payment is success. Either I can download the receipt or download the permit order. <clears throat> So there is a basic generic permit order which is generated from the system, and oh my God, it should have ideally generated a unique permit order number. There is some problem. It is working fine in the morning. Now it is an order. So basically this is the format, but there should be a unique reference ID for the plan permission number, which is not there now. So as you can see, all this information is populated from the application. It contains what is a plot number, what is a revenue survey number, Data number, and as you can see, the permit conditions got populated. You type your own permit condition, the permit condition, and it contains the amount of fee that you paid so far. It contains who is approving officer. There is a QR code to scan the authenticity of it. There is a report in there. This is the final permit order that got generated from the system. Also. Yeah. So this is the entire flow of application from permit. From EDCR scrutiny to generating a permit or let me log in again. Let's see whether it works or not. While you log in, I just want to do a quick check if there are any queries yeah. or questions. Now the permit number is this way. Yeah. I think there is some login issue. Yeah. There is a plan permission number. This nineteen. This is the proper permit order with all the information. Yeah, this is the entire flow. Any doubts? Okay. Yeah, I think we're good to move. Yeah, so quickly I'll just show the <clears throat> occupancy certificate in ETG service alone. <clears throat> so now assume so the permit is <clears throat> sorry. Uh, permit is issued, right? We just generated a permit order. So for the occupancy certificate, I need to specify for which permit order I am creating an occupant certificate application now. So I am giving the date reference, I am giving the permit order number. So on giving this reference, it is populating the information that is present in the permit order. It says it was a new construction and total build up area was 51 square feet, uh, square meters. 
and <clears throat> and it is created by an architect called Sushin with this architect reference ID. <clears throat> and this is the diagram which was uploaded for permit application. This is output what you know this was. Now with this information as reference, I need to upload the file of actual construction. If I click on submit, what happens? The system will scrutinize basically the diagram which is uploaded now. Then during the scrutiny process, it extracts information from this diagram. Right? So with the information extracted from this diagram and the information extracted from the diagram which is uploaded during the permit, it compares the information. Basically, I told you about carpet area, floor area, and height of the building. It compares these parameters and then it will throw a comparison report saying that this is a difference of value or this is a this is actually same. So some, some information will be thrown out of the comparison report. So I'm clicking on submit now. But if, if it is totally violating the bylaw, it will definitely say this scrutiny itself is not accepted. So that, that still remains same. So now um, I think scrutiny report download is not working. Let me see if it is working in some of this. There is some problem. Yeah, this could be report this output is not working. Let me see. Okay, so I was I was trying to showcase that comparison before. Let me showcase that tomorrow. But apart from that, rest all process remains same. So so once uh, this uh, scrutiny for occupancy certificate is generated, the next uh, logical step is I need to create an application for that. So in during the application, I need to upload some documents and post that it goes to the employee side um, after making a payment there there is a document scrutiny there is a field inspection there is a permit order condition there is an MSO verification and post that there is an occupant certificate so the process remains same because uh, so even after after construction i need to submit some documents so there is a document scrutiny after construction definitely we need to do a field inspection so field inspection remains so after construction the fire noc officer has to go to the site and see the fire noc uh, approval so fire noc approval is also present and post that a permit order condition for occupant certificate also they can provide a permit order condition and post that after making a payment you can generate an occupant certificate for this particular application since the flow remains and i'm not showing this maybe you can try it out in the tomorrow's uh, hands-on session so that's uh that's the entire flow of building permit application starting from it is just looking to permit order generation that's it from my side if you have any queries i can take that up um,